of stuck here. The cops won't bother me. God damn. You know, one of the downsides with this bike is that when you're in town and you have to ride it slow, it is almost unbearable. I get very angry at like people going slow when I'm riding this bike because I want them to at least go a little bit faster but there's like some people that like going under the speed limit and they make your life a living hell guys you will not believe what I just saw coming the opposite way a sport bike and the guy was dressed as Deadpool he even had like two swords and I think people do not like this bike bike is really cool and there is a demand for these type of bikes it's not that they're fast and they are fast but I think people get these for a whole different sort of riding so the super moto thing is actually kind of new for the XR650R only of lately people have been starting to get these and put them as uh, supermotos because you can get the bike itself for like three grand and then you get the supermoto wheels the forks so that's kind of established now but before then this was a great dual sport and I think this is probably one of the greater dual sports you can get I've done a couple of videos on that so first of all it's an off-road bike so that means that from the factory it's not street legal and that's kind of a shame but most of these in the used market have been dual sported because people realize that this bike is unbelievably good on the street and in the dirt it'll do single track fine it will do single track but the problem is you have to be a very good rider to ride this thing on on a single track really well and I have seen some amazing 650R riders that rode much better than 250 guys I'm not one of them I always struggled off-road on this bike but on the street and in dual sport format when you go from your house to a trail you can just ride there and you have plenty of power and once you get into the dirt you can still ride all the trails and it's not like you're sacrificing much the only sacrifice is that this bike is a kickstart and that might not seem to be a bad thing but when it's hot when it's boiling out it is extremely difficult to kick if you're tired so if you're riding in the dirt and you don't know how to ride in the dirt you're constantly struggling and in my case that's always been the case you're always struggling and then you drop it you pick it up you're tired and then you go to kickstart it it's a workout but that is a little downside another downside is the carburetor on this from the factory has never been perfect it's never been like smooth so the power delivery of this bike is abrupt but for me when I ride in the street I actually kind of like that abruptness because it makes it very interesting to ride it feels like a very powerful horse that you're riding that you're constantly it, you're constantly going to be like thrown off I don't know maybe that's not a good uh, way of looking at it but I've always felt that this 650R was one of these bikes that just made a whole lot of sense for dual sporters it makes a whole lot of sense and I think this thing as the as a supermoto god damn this bike is just so fun to ride as a supermoto it really is and I think it looks amazing except this part I don't like how the previous owner did that but the previous owner along with a lot of the XR650R aficionados they love this bike they absolutely love this bike there's a cult following for the XR650R and I think that's the reason Honda will eventually bring this back I think they will bring it back in the form of a CRF650R or even like a CRF700R with an electric start, liquid cooled, fuel injected bike that's going to be already street legal. I think that's what's going to happen. And I will I will bet you that they will do that because they brought back the Africa Twin. 
So if they brought back the Africa Twin, why not bring this thing? This is essentially the dirt version of the Africa Twin, an overly large dirt bike that only a few people can ride well off-road with it. And I think that's the allure. Something so big, so powerful, so heavy in the dirt that if you can ride this thing off-road well, you can ride anything off-road well. I love this bike. This bike is just so fun to ride. But it is not a fun bike to kickstart. That's something that I don't like about this bike. Ugh. There we go. Oh man, the kickstarting man. That is not something I look forward to. All right, make sure I turn on my high beams here. High beams are on. There we go. They're they're lighting up. Really weak, really weak electrical system on this bike. That's another bad thing about this bike is that the electrical system has never been great on it so if you want to run powerful lights you need to i believe uh there are kits that make this thing have better electrics but i don't think a lot of people are caring too much about riding at night or in the middle of the desert at night these days on it just listen to it god damn this bike just sounds so badass Oh yeah, no problem at all getting out of there. Whoa, I slipped like crazy there. Well, Squids, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that like button. It really helps out the channel. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Stay safe out there. This isn't my real job, you know.